Hi, I'm Dr. Huram Shokat Yousafzai. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the clinical research trials happening in hyperbaric medicine in the country of Spain. Just like in America, China and Iran, the hyperbaric, med hyperbaric chambers were demonstrated to be an effective oxygenation devices to treat hypoxia and SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome. So on the continent of Europe, the country of Spain took the lead and they conducted a research uh, clinical trial using the hyperbaric chambers. So today I'm going to show you in this video about that. So let's begin. The Hyperbaric Medical Society of Spain, Oxybarica, and the HLA group of hospitals decided to duplicate the clinical trial or research trial that had happened in China with the help of air liquid healthcare. So in Madrid, the HLA Moncleuve Hospital was chosen as a venue for this clinical trial, which happened between the April 7th and the April 17th, total 10 days. While the patients were compressed in a hyperbaric chamber at two atmosphere for 60 minutes because the seventh Congress of the European Hyperbaric Commission requires at least two atmosphere for 60 minutes designated as a hyperbaric treatment. So Dr. Guillermo Estrada Fernandez provided the clinical data as the head of the internal medicine and Dr. Jose Francisco Fabregge Sancho as the director and head of hyperbaric uh, department conducted the clinical research trial in Madrid, Spain. The hyperbaric research conducted in Spain was one of the first in the continent of Europe and it was conducted between April 7th and 17th and finished on the April 24th when all the data had been compiled then it was published around May 22nd with the webinar conducted so let me begin to tell you what happened in this study so Dr. Jose Febreje Sancho is the specialist in neurosurgery and he's the director hyperbaric oxygen therapy UCAM University OHB foundation at the HLA Monclao Hospital Madrid. Patients with COVID-19 viral disease usually was thought to suffer from pneumonia and SARS severe acute respiratory syndrome and according to the WHO recommendation, the hypoxia had to be corrected by the use of oxygenation devices. And one of the most powerful oxygenation device is the hyperbaric chamber. So since the hospital did not have its own hyperbaric chamber, it asked the help from Oxyberica, a manufacturer of hyperbaric chambers in Spain. So they gladly decided to help and they sent a monoplace hyperbaric chamber to the hospital under the University UCAM OHB Foundation. So a small tract was readied with the hyperbaric chamber and it was sent by the cheerful crew of the Oxybarica who decided to volunteer and help and off they went 
with the hyperbaric chamber to the HLA Monclaw Hospital. So when the chamber arrived in the hospital, it was offloaded from the truck and then transported to the Department of Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy. This OxyLife 90 model, which is a monoplace hyperbaric chamber. The OxyLife 90 is a air compressed system and it uh, reaches 2 atmosphere pressure maximum to 3 atmosphere pressure by compression of the air which contains 21% oxygen and the oxygen is fed by the bibs built in breathing system via a mask or a headset or any other means usually a mask and the patient were fed through a disposable mask the oxygen inside the hospital they decided to conduct the research study on seven patients as in China the study was conducted on five patients but in Spain they decided to expand it to seven person seven persons and no criteria was decided to choose the patients they randomly chose the patients and uh, those patients were suitable to undertake the hyperbaric therapy as determined by the doctors who were specialized in hyperbaric medicine most of the seven patients who undertook the therapy were really happy and they they did the therapy and some of them were really happy and euphoric so they were fed uh, pure oxygen at two atmosphere pressure as you can see the oxygen cylinders were provided all of the patients improved 100 percent the patient number one was discharged after only three treatments three session of treatments the second third and the fourth patient only took four sessions and they were all right and discharged the fifth sixth and the seventh patient took five sessions and they also improved their clinical indicators like the D dimers the lymphocyte count fibrinogen and the CRP all improved progressively after the end of every session till the last session Hyperbaric oxygen has been known to be a powerful de oxygenation device and it reduces the inflammatory response, the powerful tissue regenerator, regulates the immune system and improves the circulation, all very necessary in the COVID-19 epidemic which the patient usually suffers. So it not only improves the hypoxia it also performs the um, other the functions i just mentioned and at uh, two to three atmosphere the tissue oxygenation increases by 20 times it is now known why research that the damage is not only in the lungs but the hemoglobin or the heme molecule is also structurally damaged in COVID disease and the 
hypoxia induced factor which was found by the Nobel uh, Prize getting doctors in 2019 was the reason that many diseases occurs including the cancer and in COVID the HIF the hypoxic hypoxia induced factor leads to cascade of problems like clotting in the blood and also damage and inflammation in the body especially in the blood vessels and the oxygen carrying capacity is damaged which is reversed by the hyperbaric oxygen therapy and that was pretty interesting as you can see the results of uh, different uh, indicators which were chosen in this research study and how they improved one by one out of the seven patients five were really in a compromised clinical situation with the risk of deterioration and possibility of ICU admission and being treated by the ventilator and it was successfully dis demonstrated that the hyperbaric chamber almost finished the need of the ventilator being used and none of them went on the ventilator so all seven of them improved and they were discharged the average compression speed was 15 minutes for each patient so they could adopt to it and felt comfortable and some of them slept while the treatment was being administered as hyperbaric oxygen therapy is really very comfortable therefore it was demonstrated that hyperbaric oxygen chamber is the best method in COVID and SARS I hope you enjoyed my video so in order to watch such marvelous video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon I would be able to answer all your questions via the social media apps scrolling down below so you can contact me and ask me any questions and give for appreciation please like the video and i hope to see you again on my channel for hyperbaric medicine related video so take care and bye